What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of M Code, and today is Wind Down Wednesday. Eh. Ah. <laughs> so today is Wind Down Wednesday. So since my channel is new, I have to explain to you all what that actually means. So Wind Down Wednesday is my monthly segment where I give you all a new wine on a budget because honey I'm all about a budget because everything <laughs> I don't buy nothing under $20 unless it's a special occasion like it was alcohol or something but I don't buy wine under $20 and it's always quality wine good wine um, my taste vary so I'm gonna just try to taste something for everybody let you all know um, I am a certified mixologist so I do know certain drinks and wines and tastes and how to sample. So, just take a look as I try to describe certain wines, certain drinks. If you're not a big wine drinker, this is perfect for you because we're going to sip and have a little discussion. All right. So, this week on Wine Down Wednesday, I am going to be doing a review on Capriccio Sangria. Now, this is the sangria that took the summer by storm. If you're a faithful member of Black Twitter, like I am, you know and you remember the day that this sangria hit the internet and it went crazy. Now, I live here in LA and literally every time I called Total Wine, they were out. They were sold out and they're still sold out. But if you live here in LA County and you know where to get it, let a girl know. Cause I didn't try BevMo, but then I did call them and they didn't have it. So that's also kind of like LA's Total Wine, even though they do have Total Wine, but back home on the East Coast, Total Wine is kind of like the go-to wine um, connoisseur spot where they have like everything. So let's take a sip. <laughs> For my glass and this is what it looks like but again I said I couldn't find this in LA County so I went home to visit family um, last month and I packed it up so they had the bottles because even the manufacturer is sold out of just the one big bottle so this worked because you know I could savor it because I know I couldn't find it here so it came in a four pack and it was $8.99 and this is what it looks like and the big bottle looks like this too all right here goes nothing so i'm about to try it so here it is Okay, <coughs> so I took my two sips, just to kind of like get the flavor in or whatever. And the thing about this, now if you were on Twitter the day it dropped, I don't know how old my viewers are, but in college we had this thing called Four Loco. This is before Four Loco got like like rebranded and stuff like people were saying it was like crack <laughs> it was like crack cocaine because people's reaction to it was just crazy so that was like our turn up juice my freshman year in college and we used to walk to the liquor store <laughs> so walk to the liquor store um because they ain't card us and we would go get like four locos you know because we could afford it because we were still broke was freshmen broke um or whatever if you went to Spellhouse, you know exactly what gas station slash liquor stores didn't ID. Okay, walked up there every weekend. All right. They were saying that this is like the grown up version of what Four Loco is. So I can definitely tell why, y'all. I hope I don't get drunk in the course of <laughs> this video because they said it's real strong. And I see why because when you taste it, it's like, um, it's it's very you can you can tell it's a strong it's a strong wine it's not light it's very sugary whereas sangria is more of a sweet wine anyways but it's not like a syrup it's almost like a syrup this is definitely something that you could blend with ice and make a beverage or create your own thing 
Um, this is definitely not a light wine I would miss, mix with vodka. I'm from the South and a Southern Belle Sangria has vodka in it, okay? So, this don't mean nothing else. It's, it, I think I think you'd be good on your own with this one, okay? But, um, it's, honestly, it's nothing I probably would get again. I wanted to try it for the experience. Uh, yeah, I don't know. To me, it doesn't live up to the height. I think it's more of the buzz that it gives you i guess it'd be good turn up it would be a good turn up drink brunch day party i feel like it's kind of like on that vibe um because also i haven't heard anybody else talk about it since it dropped people were getting it, it was flying off the shelves but it's not something people are like oh i'm sipping on this blase blase like it's not anything that i see people drinking all the time um, but my go-to is rosé. I like champagne. I like things that are easy to make and I'll share with you like the rosés I like and the other type of wines I like. It's very mellow and then if you have any recommendations and you want me to do a review because like I said, I am a mixologist. Certified mixologist. I'm a certified mixologist. On a later wine down Wednesday, I'll give you all a recipe. See, <laughs> I think I'm playing with this. This, this is not my favorite. It's hyped. Um, I suggest if you can get your hands on and try it for yourself. If you like real, real sweet wines, that's good for you. This is perfect because a lot of sweet wines aren't strong. So if you want something sweet and strong, this is for you, honey. Okay? So check me out on the next Wines on Wednesday. And I'm actually going to do one of my personal favorites that I don't think a lot of people are on. And it's actually going to be a rosé. Yay! And I can't wait to tell you all about it because it's my favorite. And I like putting people on. I really like putting people on. So until next time, enjoy and code. And do not forget to subscribe. Like, okay, look, I had to put my glass down. Do not forget to subscribe. Click that button. Tell a friend. I'm here to stay, you guys. I'm here to be consistent. No more sporadic. Oh, so stay tuned. I have more gems. I got videos dropping, different topics. So come back to Megan's Lifestyle channel. And follow me on Instagram at B Megan McKinley. You can follow me on Twitter at Megan McKinley. And don't forget to hit my likes page on Facebook keep up with me and I have more things coming all right and that's it check you on the next episode of M Code.